The world of tea is deeply rooted in ancient Chinese culture, playing a fundamental role in cultivating the world's history. Today, tea continues to influence the world and this cultural heritage is slowly being brought to Australia. For Shane, tea culture is an extension of himself, his cultural background and traditions. His corner store in Haymarket carries a slither of that history. Chinese but Jiho 你们喝到了任何的那种饮料欣赏这种茶的美消失它会伴随着您一生Tea culture is also an extension of understanding one's cultural roots. Matt runs Tea Angle from a beautiful store in the heart of Merrickville. I remember trying a traditional Chinese black tea that my wife's grandfather drank, and I just thought it tasted completely different from what I was used to, because I thought, oh, I know what black tea is. It's English breakfast, it's a tea bag, like, I know what it tastes like. But when I tried this one, there's a lot more complexity to it. It was quite fruity. There was a lot of different flavors going on. Started drinking that every like every weekend as a nice kind of relaxing, you know, weekend ritual. And once that started to run out, it was like, oh, where else can we get this? That sort of sparked this idea of trying to discover more interesting teas and finding a whole bunch that we like that that are interesting and then bringing that back to Australia. It, it's a fun and interesting way for me to connect to my cultural heritage. Like because I was born in Australia. Uh, my parents were born in Vietnam, but my grandparents were born in China. I wasn't born there, I wasn't, you know, didn't grow up there, so I don't know, you know too much about it, didn't have that connection um, with it. But sort of to explore and discover you know, parts of my cultural heritage that I didn't know about before. It started off as you know, drinking something that, was, that tasted great, and then as we just dug deeper, as we started visiting different farmers, different plantations, exploring and learning about different teas, it just got more and more interesting. Basically jumped down a rabbit hole and you know, we decide, decided to try and marry that interest with a business and so here we are before i did all this and just go into a chinese tea shop like it's it's all very traditional it's all very quiet it was very intimidating whereas i kind of want to break those barriers down 
and just want to make it more available and accessible to more people. Like what Chinese tea culture is, it's not widely known. On a day-to-day -day basis, like tea is an integral part of life for the Chinese people. There's a bit of tension between like the art of Chinese tea and also the science behind Chinese tea. Two aspects, I guess, and just coming across like people who are interested in the culture side and you know wanting to know more about the background. And then there's another group of customers that are just there, uh, I guess, to explore like different flavors, how, how they might explore like different wines and all that kind of stuff. It's great that technology now enables people to just jump into and, and learn and I guess not become experts, but become proficient enough that they kind of know what they're talking about um, and can discover more. There's so much to explore in the world of Chinese tea. Like there's, there's first of all so many different teas to explore. Like if you dive into any particular one, you can spend ages tasting and learning about the different methods, the history behind it, and then also, you know, how to brew it. From there, you have all these different types, different regions. It's just an endless, fascinating world to explore.